Good afternoon. Right now, the judge is giving the jury instructions before they go into deliberations. Now, one instruction that they are getting is that they consider convicting on a less severe charge than first degree murder, that charge being second degree murder. But prior to that, attorneys for both sides tried to argue their case once again on whether to convict or acquit Jason Van Dyke. Why did Jason Van Dyke ignore each and every one of those signals? of avoidance, maybe because he was intent on shooting Laquan even before he arrived. You now know that Jason Van Dyke was already asking why someone didn't shoot Laquan McDonald before he even arrived on the scene, before he made any attempt to assess the situation himself. He made the decision to shoot as soon as he heard Laquan was defying the orders to stop and drop the knife. When Laquan McDonald gets con confronted, what happens? He attacks. He's confronted by Rudy Brillis. What happened? He attacked. He's confronted by the, the police officers here. Uh, he attacks. Thankfully, he didn't um, harm a police officer, but he attacks. The threat level is rising each and every time as Jason Van Dyke gets to the scene. Now, deliberations will begin after the jury gets instructions from the judge. Now, during closing arguments, the state played the video once again for the jury and once again portrayed Van Dyke as a cop who fired within seconds of exiting his squad car when 17-year-old Laquan McDonald was walking away from the officer and wasn't threatening anyone in October of 2014, repeating over and over again he was shot 16 times. Not one of the shots, the state said, was justified. They say Van Dyke ignored signs that McDonald was trying to avoid police. They also pointed out inconsistencies in Van Dyke's story. The defense tried to humanize Van Dyke, telling the jury their decision will not only have an impact on him, but his family, and continue to portray McDonald as a dangerous teen high on PCP with a knife who needed to be stopped. His attorney called what happened a tragedy, not murder, and that the video does not show what Van Dyke or his partner Joe Walsh saw that night. Van Dyke's attorney reminded the jury that Walsh believed the teen was a threat and believed Van Dyke did what he had to do in that situation and that Van Dyke didn't have time to wait for a taser. What will happen after the verdict, regardless of what it is, is also being talked about here at the courthouse. We have plans. Uh, if the verdict is uh, not guilty, we're going to uh, the city hall uh, one hour after we hear the verdict. If the verdict is guilty, we're going to the city hall one hour after we hear the verdict. And the reason why we now, another thing we are expecting to learn here very shortly is whether or not this jury will be sequestered in this case. That will be up to the judge. I did speak with a legal expert yesterday who told me that he would be shocked if this jury was not sequestered just because this case is such a high profile one. We're live at the Cook County Criminal Courthouse. I'm Eric Rung, WGN News. What was Laquan McDonald doing? Advancing on me. And could you see him, his face? Yeah, I could. I won't what, forget it. What, if anything, it. did you notice about his face? His face had no expression. His eyes were just bugging out of his head. He had just these huge white eyes just staring right through me. And did you say anything to Laquan McDonald? I was yelling at him, drop the knife. I yelled it, I don't know how many times, but that's <clears throat> all, I, all I yelled. And did he keep advancing toward you? He never stopped. How close did he get to you? He got probably about 10 to 15 feet away from me. And when he got 10 to 15 feet away from me, what did he do? We never lost eye contact. Um, eyes were bugging out, his face was just expressionless. And he turned his torso towards me. And what if it had to do with his arm? 
He waved the knife from his lower right side upwards across his body towards my left shoulder. And when he did that, what did you do, officer? I shot him. <laughs> 